there's a word that gets thrown around a lot these days that I hear a lot in my job, and that's the word partnership. And so often people will say, we want to have a partnership. And sometimes what that means is they want you to do something for them for nothing. Um, the word opportunity gets thrown around a lot, and sometimes what that means is you get to do something for somebody else for nothing. Um, but there's one good partnership that, that we have established over the last few years, and uh, it's with Saga Musical Instruments. And I want to uh, thank David Gartland and all of the staff out there in California at Saga Musical Instruments. They, they, they are responsible for Blue Ridge guitars and uh, Kentucky mandolins, Gold Star banjos, and, and several of the other uh, instruments that uh, a lot of people are playing these days. And I can remember when I was learning, when I was a kid, uh, there weren't a lot of options out there for, for people f uh, to get you know, decent quality instruments. And you, you, know, you either had something that was really cheap and hard to play, or you had to go up into like a multi-thousand dollar instrument. And uh, Blue Ridge is really... Um, and Saga Musical Instruments, they've really bridged that gap to make some really good quality instruments that people can afford. And uh, one of the people responsible for helping get that partnership with that company is, uh, she was the, um, the chair of our Bluegrass Development Council for, for a few years. She worked with Fender Musical Instruments for a number of years. And, um, and I'd like to introduce her. And if I can say, her husband, who's uh, passed away several years ago, uh, helped to invent the Stratocaster. And uh, Bill Carson was her husband. This is Miss Susan Carson right here. And now Susan, she, she had a music store in Elizabethan back in the 1970s, right? Back and in the Dark Ages, the last century. The last, yeah, last century. Um, but, I mean, how have you seen a company like Saga come in? I mean, you've been in the music instrument business for a long time. You worked for George Gruen in Nashville for a long time. And, and then, you know, you... And Susan helped with the, uh, the Fender Master Model banjo that you all came out with uh, back in those days. Uh, tell us a little bit about, like, you know, a company like Saga. What's their, what do you think their goal is with, with working with a group like ETSU? The fellow that owns Saga, Richard Kelson, really is dedicated to, to promoting bluegrass. He's a banjo player himself, and he uh, has gone to first Japan and now China himself over there to set up factories to teach the people how to build the instruments exactly the way they should be built. Instead of just being a jobber over here that contacts a supplier over there and says, send me some samples, he really goes over there and does it right. Uh, he's a bluegrass player, has a band in San Francisco, and he's really dedicated to promoting education and uh, seeing that this uh, field of music continues to grow. He's at bluegrass festivals, he's at the trade shows, and so he's just really been a great partner. And uh, the sales manager for the company, David Gartland, has come to visit us a number of times. He plays the mandolin and he always gets to uh, jam with us. And, so they're just, they've just been a great partner and um, it has facilitated it so that you all can buy instruments at really good prices uh, through uh, David Campbell's Morel Music. And so we're just really ha glad to have that partnership. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, somebody uh, from the community, uh, an anonymous donor, um, they wanted to help along the way and uh, they, they purchased two guitars from Saga Musical Instruments, two Blue Ridge guitars. Over here, Jane McMorrin and Ainsley have them. And uh, we put out a call. Nate, why don't you come on up? Um, yeah, yeah. I put Nate in charge. Of, um, I, I put Nate in charge of, uh, of the selection process, and maybe you can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so we uh, just invited all of the students in the program, all the majors and minors, to apply to receive one of these instruments. We got about... 20 applications and they were all great. We wish we had 20 guitars to give away for sure. And it was a very difficult decision for the uh, selection committee, but we narrowed it down to a couple of very deserving students and we're really excited to help them out with these guitars. Great. And we have a dreadnought and a, uh, is it an OM style or what? It's a uh, triple, 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 triple O. Yeah, triple O, that's right. 
All right, so. Okay, so why don't we bring up the, the dreadnought? That's uh, the one that yep. Jane has. Comes and, with the case. and they also have page capos. We have a good uh, um, relationship with the folks at page capos as well. Yeah. Susan helped us with that one. So we got some good accessories and a case. Uh, this this guitar, the Dreadnought, is going to go to Mr. Spencer Hatcher. Spencer oh, Hatcher. Yeah. I guess this isn't exactly a CMA award, but uh, it, it certainly means a lot to me. And uh, I want to thank everybody over at, uh, at Saga for allowing something like this to happen and for the um, guitar committee for choosing me. So uh, thank you all very much. Yeah. All right, and for the triple zero guitar, that's going to go to Miss Emily Stoltzfus. Thank you to everyone for selecting me and for the person who um, purchased the guitar. It was very generous, so thank you. <laughs>